Cast Squee the Immortal. Make 100,000 mana of every color. Cast the first sliver, cascading into every spell in my library. This might be what you hear when the game ends, but what's actually going on behind the scenes? Welcome back to Better Know a Combo, brought to you by the Spike Feeders. How does it work? Great question. For the purposes of this combo, we're going to start out with Food Chain and Squee the Immortal in play. Exile Squee to Food Chain to add 4 red to my mana pool. Using 3 of this 4 red, cast Squee from Exile. I can do this any number of times, and once I have enough red mana, I can Exile Squee to make the other colors of mana as well. Now I'm sitting on a pile of mana, but it can only be spent on creature spells. That's where the first sliver comes in. Cast the first sliver from my command zone, triggering Cascade. When Cascade resolves, I'll cast the first spell I exile off the top of my library with CMC 4 or less. Now I'll exile the first sliver to Food Chain, and we're back where we started. Now that we've established that I can cast every spell in my library with CMC 4 or less by recasting the first sliver, which spells help me close out the game? I can basically pick the way I want to win, but here are a few examples. Enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield triggers such as Lava Belly Sliver and Outpost Siege fit in here. Your classic storm wind conditions like Aetherflux Reservoir, Tendrils of Agony, or even Grape Shot, or anything that triggers off of creatures dying, like Blood Artist and Cruel Celebrant, but you'll need a sacrifice outlet to make this happen. Incidentally, some of these sacrifice outlets, like Goblin Bombardment and Altar of Dementia, will work on their own. As you may know, Eternal Scourge and Mist Hollow Griffin can take the place of Squee the Immortal, however, they can't be cast from your graveyard. You can also use a ton of different commanders to close out the game, the most popular other options are Niv-Mizzet Reborn and General Tazri. This sounds awesome, but how can people interact? Let's go back to the original description of the combo and talk about the ways you can interact at times you receive priority. It's important to note that Food Chain's activated ability is a mana ability, and you won't be able to respond to it. Exile Squee the Immortal to Food Chain to cast Squee the Immortal from Exile. With Squee on the stack, removing Food Chain at this point will stop the combo. If I'm using Mist Hollow Griffin or Eternal Scourge instead of Squee, countering them will stop the combo as well. You could also counter Squee here as well, but it's a temporary solution at best. I may have enough mana to recast him immediately, or he'll just be in my graveyard for me to cast next turn and try again. Gather Specimens will prevent Squee or the first sliver from entering the battlefield under their owner's control. This'll do it, but I don't recommend owning a copy of Gather Specimens. That's it! Food Chain is the central piece of this combo, and if you're looking to interact, you need to deal with it specifically. By the time I have enough mana to start casting the first sliver, there aren't really a ton of good ways to interact, because I can just keep casting it. It doesn't even need to resolve to cascade. Sometimes, you're not playing reactive spells like that, and prevention is going to be the best medicine. How can we prevent this from happening in the first place? Shut them down. This combo requires its controller to cast a lot of spells. A 1-mana tax effect can go a long way. If Squee costs one more to cast, the loop doesn't net mana. It's also important to note that the first sliver's cascade ability causes its controller to cast the spell that they cascade into, and tax effects will apply there as well. If they cascade into a non-creature spell, they can't even use food chain mana to pay for the tax. Food chain has an activated ability, so you can name it with Phyrexian Revoker to shut it down. Pithing Needle, however, won't work here. Effects that prevent people from casting more than one spell per turn will also stop this combo. Teferi Mage of Zalfir and Teferi Time Raveler prevent players from casting spells if the stack isn't empty. These effects prevent you from casting anything off of Cascade. They won't stop Squee, but they will stop the first sliver from digging for a win condition. Some cards prevent people from casting spells with a chosen name. If you name Squee or the first sliver with Nevermore or Meddling Mage, the combo won't get off the ground. That about does it for this installment of Better Know a Combo. If you have a combo you want to see explained, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Remember, you gotta be pretty smart to run these combos, but not being able to die helps. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you like this content and you want to see more, make sure you click subscribe. If you love this content, click on the link to our Patreon. Every dollar helps us create more videos like this.